Okay, so still everybody is still here. I'm trying to another data sheet. Now we are you, our Wi-Fi signal is not very well. So I'm uh, uh, I'm we are using the data to show in the more information. You wouldn't see our new models. Six uh, sixty six six uh, sixty uh, the with the blue base and uh, now, I would like to talk more about the, the sample machine. This is a model with the capacity 1.5 to 2 ton per hour. The power, I will show you the power of this motor. You see, it is 132 kilowatt. And uh, in this, in this petty price, we have two pen, two patents. One is the cooling the ring die to uh, to cooling the mood to let the uh, mood with the longer uh, lifespan. Another one I will show you is it is the oil recycling system. You see the yellow pipes. This is the oil recycling with the fine to cooling the pipe and uh, to replace the hot gear oil in, to lubrication the ro the ro the bearing of the roller. Uh, this way can this way can uh, make uh, the ring die and uh, the roller with the longer lifespan and with the more stable working to let the customer with the low cost in at the replacing the spare parts. And here is the cutter and the ring die inside. Uh, regarding the ring die, later I will give you more specification about the ring die. Uh, the cut this is a cutter, could uh, adjustable and uh, making the uh, pallets in short or in uh, longer. Um, so please focus on our testing, our living room at uh, the one o'clock uh, p.m. Uh, sorry, four p.m. You will see the real testing in our workshop. Uh, for this. Pad price, you see, the, this is the gearbox, and uh, this gearbox has more moods. That means the speed of this pad price is is 70 to 92 RPM. The speed is slow. That means the materials in the hole of the ring die stayed for a longer time. Can can make the materials forming with a longer time. That this this speed give a chance to make the pallets with high density. I hope you can see that in this afternoon. I will show you the. I will show you an assembly machine to let you see the gearbox. So please focus on our living room. In at the one o'clock, you will see more about this machine. Now I will take you to the spare path. Okay, this is this is the spare path ring die. Look, this one is the, the mood without the drill of the hose. For this one is with the hose after the finished. Uh, at the 1, a, 1 p.m., uh, I will show you our drill, drilling machine for, uh, for making the hose on, on the ring die. So please allow me to introduce our ring die. This ring die is the material is stainless steel. Uh, you can see, and uh, 
Stainless steel, if you, if you think it is not very necessary, we can consider use the oily steel.、Uh, it is also very hard. You can see there are two layers, two layers. One layer, the second layer of the ring of the horse. Why we design like that? Because this ring die could use with two sides. When this layer has any broken of the holes, you can use this side. That means the during time of this ring die is double.、Uh, you you can see this is our、uh, patent, and、uh, the ring die is can be replaced with longer time. It means save your cost, right? So consider us to be your pallet machine supplier and spare parts supplier. And here you can see is the roller. Um. Let me introduce carefully. Hello, everybody. My assistant friend is come here. Century shop. So actually, when you want to tear the inside, this is the main shop inside of the ruler, which you want to adjust. And why the eccentric? We call it. This is the one ring, right? And、uh, one、uh, we call the rule. Another thing is this shop is central is here, but this rule the central is here. We call it eccentric. So that's why the two center, the diameter is not. Okay, I give you more details. details. The function is when you turning one set. And this side will be going when you turn it in this shaft, a little bit degree, and this this whole road will go closer or further from the ring die. So we、we'll、adjust the ruler shell with the ring die's gap. So this ruler shell is installation by this path, and also here, bearings. see the bearings, main bearings together to lock it down to make a one ruler shell. And this ruler shell is working with this ring die. Together to producing parts, and we have this is for sure only. And if you want to look carefully, we have the big spare parts house in the behind our building. You keep following us. Yes, keeping following us and、uh, focus on our living room. Later we will show you each section of our、uh, factory and、uh, give you more screens, more shots、uh, to to know us clearly. This is our biggest model.、Uh, the capacity is 2.5 ton per hour. You see the motor; it is 160 kilowatt.、Uh, I will show you the labor of the motor labor. You see? Oh, sorry. This is 132. Kilowatt, and、uh, later I will go to another workshop to show you the biggest、uh, model we have now. It is uh, the one、uh, sixty kilowatt. And、uh, now I will introduce this one again. The motor here. Did you see? Did you see that?、Uh, if you have any questions, please、uh, send a text to us. This motor is for is a forcing motor to force the materials inside of the、uh, ring die to let the roller and the, the、uh, ring die to let the、uh, roller press the materials into the hole of the ring die.、Um, This one is very necessary because the sawdust is very light, and、uh, it is can't、uh, to compare. It is not heavy. If we couldn't, if we are not use this motor, that means the、uh, the energy is is a waste. Uh, you can uh, you can consider uh, our uh, machine like this. Uh, this is uh, um. There are four main parts: motor to keep the stable energy, 
cooling system, oil recycling to life spine, the roller and the, the ring die, uh, the forcing motor to help the materials inside the ring die, the base, the base, the gearbox with more moves to let the uh, machine has uh, the stable performance. Okay, I show you the cooler. One, one by, I show you the cooler with okay, details. Okay, Grace, I think you have to drink some water, please. Huh? Okay, I'll continue. This is a cooler. As I told you, the palace will come up here as, as I told you before, if you remember, you still remember, have a good memory, you will know, notice the palace come up here, it's about 65 degree. When you have the base in your bathroom, we have shower, the, the, the temperature of the water, if it's put hot, is 65 degrees. So you know you cannot touch it by hand. And when the palace is at higher temperature, you cannot uh, it can easily get the moisture back. When the moisture in the final palace is what be, we call it low quality. And you cannot sell it in a good price. So this is a machine, mainly purpose. So if you're working with the one ten per hour at minimum, uh, plants, the cooler is very necessary. Let me introduce the cooler itself. From the top, sorry, uh, top, yeah. You'll see the airlock. An airlock is working with it. With this, we can lock the air inside the tank. See, we can lock the air inside the tank. Then the material will be dropping into this uh, room. And then when you, when the pellets come into this room, you will see actually when it's running, this fine and sucking will be start sucking wing. And it's very loud like again, when it's sucking the wing, and where the wind come out, we're sitting on top here, right? Sitting top here, here don't have anything to leak, and here don't have anything to leak. The only entrance of the cold wind is from the bottom. So there's a gate. So this is the bottom. Air will go inside. It's the temperature, is the environment, like 25 degrees. For today, it's 26, I think. And the, pal the wind is going from down to up. And the palace is dropping from up to down. So the cold air will go 100% cover the palace, will bring the heat outside. And uh, discuss here with the back filter, so the only air come out, there's no dust come out. Then the palace will be dropping here. You must know how it's dropping. We have a control valve here. See, this is a control valve. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shaft. And using the eight shaft, when the time is ready, we have a two controlling. One is from the cabinet. You see from there, there's a cabinet, right? Another thing is we have a switching, switching off here. So when it's open to the end, is the power is from there. So there's a air valve. When you give it a signal here, it will give the compressed air to push this pistol this way, and it will be going this, and the material and the pallets will be dropping to the sieve. And when you when, when it's moving this action, he will give a signal back to the control cabinet turning. That is enough. Then he will push back. Then the pallets will be automatically falling down here. And this is the safe. We call it a safe when you're shaking it. Hold on. It's a shift. I see. And the pallets will be slowly, slowly falling here and to the packing. And we can connecting the ready pallets here to a packing section or to a manual packing.
So this is the final pellets come out. This is the cooler we are talking about. I find out there's no one asking questions. You want to see outside? We have a very big workshop. And this is material preparing and also several machine under construction, 660. And also some spare parts. Because we are on live, so I ask all the workers to keep silence. Once after 20 minutes later, I will keep back working, so it will be noisy again. Dang, dang, dong, dong. And by the way, there is another layer on top, you'll see. It's a second layer for uh, material steel production. And this is only the one workshop we have. We have another one. Go let me share here. See, there's another one at the end. Pass through that door, there's another one. If you want to visit that factory, we have the ring die processing, the main shaft processing there all along. So it's keep us three three or four, another five shows, live-in shows. So I would like you to check, and uh, if you have any more questions, you can let me know. Let me check if anybody have a comment or not. So far, not yet. Great. Yeah. 大声一声。对，还有半个小时。So came the timing clock. Welcome to ABC Machinery. And this is the processing ring die, and this is the chamfer machine. We can put the ring die and uh, make the chamfer here when the drill just start working. And uh, sometimes, let, let me explain to you here. Anyway, you have, still have time. I can explain to you everything if you ask me. See, uh, you know where the cat is coming, right? So this is the ring die. We call the, the raw material will be inside here and then we push out by the ruler and the pellets will come out here. So when the ruler turning, it's always touching this screen, right? Once again, one screen. Right now it's a new ring die. But after it's been a while, depends on the different material, this ring, this holes, like 2,000 hours later, it will be a little bit not in the shape. So the machine, we are talking about is there. This machine is to repair, to repair the inner surface. I probably want to look at the details of the machine. Question, what's this? This is the lubrication inlet. You know how the lubri lubrication works? Let me find a more clear way. If you go in here, see? This is the thread inlet from here. Okay, one, one, two, three. Go in here, one, two, three. So when the oil lubrication is going through here, when this turning, the main shaft is turning, it will see it still can lubrication here.
Great function is back. If I any ask any details message, you can check my WeChat, WhatsApp, and email. Must knowing the where the pellets come out here. When it's come out, and you see this chair, and this chair is turning, I will push the pellets around. So it's a round one. You see, put the pellets around, and then I will drop here to the pellets conveyor, and the pellet conveyor will let the pellets go up to where you want to bring it is. And the motor driving by the chair is from here. If there is any more details on the lubrication, I can tell you more about there the main shop. Uh, let's go there. That machine is more clear. You see, this is the gear box we have, the durability gear box. Motor connecting with the shaft, and the shaft driving by each mode, one, two, three, five, five sections. And when it's going to pack strengthens, the, the power will be drive here. So here in the motor, it's a turning power, right? It's turning round by round. And when you come to here, you see the man shaft going up, and the ruler is turning. And after, this is the stable part. Ah, oh. this this is the stable part, and this is the turning part. So between the turning part and the stable part, there must have a bearing, right? And this is the bearing we install inside. And when the bearing install inside, you can see the details. It's FAT from Germany. And when the bearing inside here, you must know when the bearing turning, the temperature is going up. So how are we cooling it? You can see we have uh, lubrication oil inlet. Another one is this way. Another lubrication oil in that. See? This too is a lubrication the, the, the main rulers when it's turning. And it will be consi consistent. It will be 24 hours when it's opening because it's on the clock with the control panel. So once up, you turn on the panel machine. You cannot stop the oil. It's already locked together. So the oil will be come up from here to cooling the bearing. And the bearing come, come back to the gear box. And before it coming back, it will exchange the heat here to the extra heat outside. You see there's extra heat fine. And when it's fine, it's sucking the wind. And here is the plate. Probably cannot see clearly. Here's the plate to switch the heat. 
So the heat will be blow over and the oil will be remain in the pipe to cooling down this man bearing, roller bearing, and all the system. Working with the pad machine for over already 12 years, so the, every step improvements we have in the man, and the, our pad machine is the best you can get the solution. And not only that, because we have over 300 or 400 pad plants we already built, including some in Europe, some in Asia, South part, and some in Japan, Korea, and also most of them in China. And when you when we learn this, this thousands of plants case, we know which part need to be improvement, which material need to be take care of. Then you will get the best solution for your pet project. Anybody have question about this drawing? Logs. Okay. Then we'll ask, what's the purpose of deparking, right? Let me explain to you. Hold on. Generate the wood logs. It's coming with the bark. And when I say bark, it's outside the dark ones, right? The bark. And generally, when you're producing the high-quality pallets, there's one standard it's very necessary to control is the ash content. And the ash content, what, what it generally means is some, some particle of some of the parts from the raw material cannot burn in properly. And the ash content normally requests, the high quality requests less than 0 0.3. Then if you're processing all the material with the barks, I mean the brown ones, you have to take care of all the barks, even from the dust collecting, you still have the dust mixing with the, going through the pallet mill. So the first step and only purpose of the debugger here is to clean the barks. Then you will get the more clean pallets. So some Somebody want uh, some buyers used to ask, uh, how do you make your pallets according to the standard that you can sell in the higher price? So you have to take care of the material from the first beginning. After debarking, material is clean, it's going through the drum chipper. And for drum chipper, we have a very stable Reducer. If you're looking for other factory, you can't see this reducer at all. And this is the heavy duty reducer from Guomao, the top one in China. And it will be more stable. After the debugger, we're going through here to the wood chipper. And the wood chipper size will be changed a bit from here, the locks, to here, the chips. And the chips is standard chips, we can make smaller and bigger. But the chips smaller is better for the hammer mill, which is we'll be grinding the chips into a more small particle, like we call it wood sawdust. And wood sawdust is still wet. We have processing to a, we call it rotary dryer. And rotary dryer have the 34 parts. If the moisture is higher than 55, it's better use the moisture dryer with a triple pass. When I say triple pass, as inside, there are material in, out, and in, and out. Then you have the three layer in one distance, in one area, fixed it, but you have a very unique space to drying the sawdust. After sawdust keep drying, we go to the pallet mill. But there's a one secret. Is there anything between dryer and the pallet mill? For equipment, there is none. But if you want running stable more time and running stable when you produce in the palace, it's better to have a storage space. Sometimes if the capacity you are requiring is only one ton or 1.5 ton per hour, and that capacity, you can just leave the dryer outside 
the sawdust into a storage storage area. And beside this option, we have another option, where which we are talking about when you producing the pallets in about five ten power ten tenths power or or more, you have to use the storage silo because if this storage on the ground, it takes you a lot of uh, space. So that's still costly. The the main purpose we're putting a storage between the dryer and the pallet machine is because when the material come out of the dryer, it cannot be that stable moisture content because some bigger particle, small smaller particle, and also it still have a problem of the the heat or heat release. So the when the heat release after the dryer. And also the water moisture content after the dryer, you have need a, a time and a buffering time to settle down. We call it put the sawdust ready before palleting. And when after the storage, it will be make palleting to make pallets. And this is some part technology and knowledge we learn from the over a rich experience. We know how to make good pallets, and we are doing it. If you request quick us as a supplier, we are not we are not only selling of good pallets machine, good conveyors. We are always selling you, and we call it serving you the best solution you have, the best solution we have, and you will have it if you select the supplier from us. Not only the equipment, and also experience, also of the guideline, also training, also make palleting stable. But tell a story. Last time I was in Indonesia, the plant is running about two months, and then is the capacity reduced, the dryer reduced capacity. Is I'm talking this because this he says he's buying from another supplier. And another supplier they didn't teach him how to design the total、uh, flow chart. So, cause it the the machine feeding matter is not、uh, suitable for his material. And why he cannot tell him? Maybe his machine is good, but he don't have ex enough experience. Then the investment is there, and the buyer lost a lot of time and the timing, and also the investment. Now he come back to us because we teach him. How to use the proper machine to turning the pad plant running well? That that's the real story. And if you select someone who is not familiar with its processing, only good machine cannot sell at all. The only concern you and me, the buyers and the, the supplier, always be the project will be running stable. That is benefit for both of us. So that's all believe, and I want you to know. Hello, it's the chief engineer. He designed the first machine. <laughs> We are talking with here. Okay, anything you want ask the chief engineer? Can let me know. Anything in words.、Uh, next stage, we still have 15 minutes time. You can chat with me. And next stage, I believe, will go through the whole factory. I see from here. See the number one factory and number two. Let me try the signal. Grace, 马芳，马芳，你看着我出去的时候，信号会不会断啊？我看看外面信号怎么样。Hold on a minute. So now it's still running, right? Ah? You sold how much? No, I didn't sell how much. It's all gas. My gas is there. I found it. Hey, this is the system.
I want you to try outside the factory and see if it's working well. This time it's too late. The next time, go the next time. What's going on? 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 所以 ，this is my building I'm talking about, and this is the gate we're having. You see what this? Everybody, everybody, hands up. Who can tell me what this? It's a rice husk. You see? Very dry. Fresh rice husk, and we're going to make this into pellets. 4 p.m. So it's another five hours. Okay, back to the factory view. It's a factory outside. When you come visit us, you will come inside this gate. Let me pretend you are here, okay? Let me pretend you are here. I'm your eyes and ears. When it's going through this gate, you're turning right. You'll find out the gate and we'll say hello to the guide and we're opening to here. Then the content and the machinery I introduce the well, living spot is in that room. All right, and then when you're parking here, you'll see a different two workshop. And uh, I find I have uh, this workshop is 100% owned by us, so we need to not pay the rent. We build our house ourselves. And this some standy parts we're going to selling to everywhere in the world. And this is the ready part. And this is the painting house. See the big succulents, huge, one a two meters high. It's only half. So it's for a big project. And this is ready part going shipping and some parts under instruction. And see from this area, it's another building, we call it lasering. So it's all the key part, all the main part of processing is here. Okay, the workshop needs to re restart working. And this is some parts we're going to send. See, we'll give you a detailed introduction of which part is going to send. And this is the processing with the main seat. <laughs> so this is lasering. You can setting up some data. This is lasering. Uh, uh, so it's a part of the screw conveyors, uh, uh, conveyor conveyors. We have the drilling at the pit. 
and we're going to next. And this is already done last time. Rice husk, so dust. So they are going to make pallets after four hours later. And this is another 16 sets ready to send to Europe. Wow, you can see the inside structure. I don't know I have the limit or not to camera here. See the inside structure. Cannot move closely. It's under prepare. And also you can see the rain dice, lasering. So it automatically leaves. You check this machine. This machine is how long, Master? Ah. This car is not the engine driven, right? Yes, it's a fire engine. It's a fire engine. Yes. Then how long will the car drive? Ah, you drive the whole thing. Yes. Then now we only drive this half, right? Yes. Ah, it has a perspective. Yes, yes, yes. It has a perspective. Yes. Ah, this perspective is you drive it slowly, or you have to drive it? 转一圈你要调一下的，呃，就不要，我把那个转面那个直接打好以后自动的。啊、哦，自动走的。自动走的。So it's auto drilling， 大概多长时间？这个整个拆下来，可可两边调的可能有半天了，可能有。有半天。对对对。It's about half half day. It's ten hours. You need to process it to surface. And see the surface with angles. This is also another pattern design. If you interesting, I will introduce you more details. In next few hours. We still have five minutes, so it's a preview for the next show. What am I going to show you? And this is a shop. 是不是转的什么？这个转的是什么？啊，角龙的轴。啊，角龙的轴头。And this is the shaft end of the screw conveyor. And we have the drilling machine for there. It's for the main part. Okay, that's it. And remember, follow us with the next two or five shows. We'll show you the details of everything you want to see and everything I want to introduce. Okay? I think that's it. Okay, follow us. Okay, Annie Zhang. Another visitor. I can't read your name, but I know you are visitors to one five blah blah blah. And if you have anything to chat, chat with me. Anything to ask, ask, ask. And I will reply you because I'm the one who is talking to any, uh, everyone in the factory. So when you have me, you have all the access of the factory. Go, go back to the spot. Blue sky. Very beautiful place. How I hope without COVID nineteen you can be here. Hello, that's it. Bye bye. See you next time. I bet you're there. Hey, Guanabara.